the day is here. We made a lot of progress on the Impreza, but more importantly, I'm even more excited about, we have the Karma Speed merch drop, our second official one, the first one popped off. We sold out super quick. So go to karmaspeed.com, go stack your size right now. I made this video live right now, June 10th, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is the drop, I repeat. Go now before things sell out. If we're out of if we're out of stock in your size of the shirt, or or out of stock in the hat or item or whatever, below the add to cart button, you're gonna see on a lot of the products it says out of stock. Click here, click that little hyperlink. It takes you to a second page. I send you what you need. It takes two to three weeks longer, but that's what we have to do while I don't have the resources to have a huge amount of inventory right now. So go grab some while you can. It'll get shipped to you real quick. But if not, I got you. If you're a little late. Don't worry, that button is there so everyone can get what they need. I'm super pumped on this fishing tee. It's fishing for car parts. Go check out the design, it's super cool. And we have quite a few other products. I want everyone to grab valve stem caps. I only ordered 100 of those, so please go grab them. I'm pumped on them, and um, I want everyone to be rocking them on your car. But thanks so much, karmaspeed.com. Thank you guys for the, awesome, the unreal support, it's amazing. Um, I'm so thankful for you guys um, growing the brand and everyone getting help. And if you haven't joined the private Facebook group, do that and then follow us on Instagram, send us your car, we'll post it. And uh, I, just wanted to, I just wanna let you guys know that I appreciate you so much. And uh, let's get in the video. Sorry for so much talking, but big day. Taking on a project this big is something that does make me a little bit nervous, but I've come up with somewhat of a game plan, and I'm open to help from all of you guys as well. Please let me know, especially when we get talking about body work. I need all the help I can get. I know how Bondo works, I know how to do it right now, yada yada yada, but this is an entire car that we will be painting eventually, so hit me up, please, if you have some tips. But game plan. Power wash the car for the first time, deep clean it today, and pull it in the garage and get it ready so we can start sanding the areas and doing Bondo and all that because I wanna get all this clear coat that's coming off on the back. We need to take this wing off. We need to get the tail lights off. We need to get the headlights off. Look at this antenna. I didn't even know I did that till today. What in the world? So we need to get this off. I would like to take the molding off on the roof and all that figure that out headlights off obviously we have these turn signal lights whatever those are the reflectors and just start taking all the pieces off and so we can start sanding i think i'm going to try and find the cheapest orbital um sander i can find just for now to get started and then maybe get something that'll hook up to an air compressor but i need a way bigger tank to get started on that the other thing is I wanna have anyone that's experienced help me out with. This is like a, this panel is the only one that's like been replaced. And it's got this like, I don't know if that's just paint chip, it's like a rust, you can see like a little bit of like orange rust. I don't know what to do, if I should just body filler that or what. Um, but yeah, like this is all gross in here. There's this gap. Let's get cleaning. transmission and we put it back here when we opened the trailer and it leaked a bunch of trans fluid inside here and it made the car reek 
and it actually looks horrendous in here. I was thinking about power washing it now and spraying degreaser in here, but I do definitely need to get these tail lights and stuff out of here because there are a lot of wires exposed. But let me show you what it looks like in here. Gross. It's like sound deadening stuff. That's gonna be a nightmare to get all this out. Gonna go ahead and wait. I am gonna blow all this out with the power washer though. I don't even care if I get this soaking wet. Let's see if the under the hood needs a good cleaning. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. I'm gonna get some degreaser and uh, spray this thing down. dries out I'm gonna go ahead and clean quickly clean the STI and the Mustang first steps to getting the headlights off there are tabs right inside this grill. This one's not actually secured all the way. It's sitting out. But then when you put a screwdriver in here, you press down on the tab very nicely. Then you lift up on it. Comes out really, really easy. Next up, we need to get the parking lights off or whatever you want to call them. There's a little screw here that attaches to the headlight. Pull that guy out. This should come out now. Before I go any farther though, I need my magnetic bowl so I don't lose anything. And then we can put stuff in Ziploc bags because it's gonna be a while before we put this back together. If you guys need tools, I have a link in the description to Amazon with an entire list of commonly used tools in the garage for you guys who may be new to it or experienced and you need some new tools, you wanna expand your arsenal, it's a great spot to find what you need. This isn't sliding out quite yet. So I'm gonna go over here. On this part of the headlight, there's two bolts that actually you can use with a screwdriver and loosen. They also look like they're 10 millimeters, but I have the screwdriver out, so that's handy to get them out real fast. Wow, these have these little rubber, oh, that just came off. Never mind, nothing special. All right, now this is loose, headlights loose. Go ahead and pull this one out first. These are connected actually right now. Let's get this clip off. Here we go with old clips, brittle plastic. I have a hard time not breaking the new stuff, let alone this old stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and twist the bulb out to be safe. Oh, and just pulled that plug right out of there. I've never seen a plug like this. Little three prong guy. Got a level built into the headlight, that's pretty funny. It's old school, never seen that. I was able to unclip the parking light on this side, but there actually is a proper bolt on the side of this headlight. There was not this on the other side. There's normally two here to keep it in place. Get this light housing out. There's actually a clip right inside here. I had to pull it up. I'm gonna have to get that out.
in preparation for body work, I think it's a good idea to go ahead and remove the hood vents and the hood scoop. I got an eight millimeter. little nozzle that sprays water on your windshield for your you know window cleaner um, we have our two lines that dust came out of there I already unplugged that side the hoses are just pressed on so wiggle them off slowly be nice to them not really doesn't matter grab a pick or something like it to stick in there there's a piece of there's a tab on the top of it you press down and it'll pop through and then we'll wiggle it on the back side and we can get it out. A couple of these bolts didn't want to come out. I had to reach a pair of needle nose behind and grab the bolts from the to keep them from spinning because they're stripped out to get the hood vents out. But we got the hood scoop off, got the vents out, we got the spray nozzles. I think we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and seal up the hood um, hopefully and get rid of these nozzles because I don't want them on there for the final product of the car. Moving on to the back of the car, it looks like we have some eight millimeter nuts on the back side here, a couple clips that are easy to unplug and we should be free. Tail lights weren't bad, they were just eight millimeter nuts on the back side of it. Once I got them off, I had to go ahead and hit the headlight and just pop it. And it finally like, all that like nasty dirt and stuff like was stuck to the body. And then it finally came off. Let's remove the wing now. wingless looking pretty non sports car <laughs> ah, don't even think about suggesti suggesting to run wingless get out of town need to order an ebay wing up asap see how we can make it look and then maybe get a more, more aggressive one once we get the wide body on but the next step I want to do is pull off these side turn signals. Okay, so everyone tells me that these cars are like Legos and I couldn't have picked a better car to do a full build slash restoration on for that reason. And I've been trying to make sure it's not placebo, all the above, because I don't want to get overly excited. And then when I go to put it back together, it's really difficult. But I can tell you, a blinker, light right here you reach behind on this side of it right here with my thumb i'm pressing in on this tab pushing through and that's it like what that's not normal usually there's two bolts you have holes all kinds of problems and now we have access to our clip wiggle it be nice to it don't force it it is old and brittle Put this back in, put my cord in, and just like that, that's it. Just hope there's no spiders up here. Up next on the agenda, we're gonna take off this radio antenna. It looks like it's a Torx bolt. I think it's going to be a T25. Bingo, hand loose. If you guys need a Torx bit set, like the one I'm using, I have that link in the description I mentioned earlier. Bunch of stuff to help you guys get stuff done easier in the garage. A 
gonna pull this out. It's got some sort of plugs on it. Perfect. I'm gonna grind this down and weld that shut somehow. Never using this ugly thing again. Before I end the night, I would love to get the rear view mirrors off. Boom. All the screws that came out of the rear view mirror, I'm gonna go ahead and thread them back into the mirror so we don't have to use another baggie and we don't lose them. The next part is removing this molding. Some of it's already coming off. All it is is these plastic clips holding it on. It's gonna break off. We're gonna weld up these holes. I'm just gonna try and pry them out of here without bending the body or the metal. This one wouldn't come out, so I just kind of pushed it into the hole and folded it, in, folded it in on itself. That's what I mean by folding it in on itself. Well friends, we can look at the car. The hood's apart, ready to get sanded. The bumper's ready to get sanded. The fenders, the doors, every part of this car, the roof is ready to get sanded. I could actually remove these, but I don't know what I wanna do about these yet. Let me know what you guys think I should do. I saw that Bucky just removed them and I'm pretty sure he just left them off. Let me know what you think. I know these are kind of, oh. Didn't know that was a drum. But yeah, any recommendations, please let me know. I'm excited for this build. I'm excited to start sanding. For a while I was kind of nervous, but nah, we got this. We'll get it done. It might take some time. It might take some learning. I got some tools I need to buy. Um, don't forget again, the Karma Speed Drop is today, right now, June 10th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go grab something while it's hot. If there's something that was sold out. Make sure you check the button underneath add to cart on the shirts and stuff. I added a button that says out of stock in your size. Click here. Click there. It's a restock item. You guys can order it. It'll show up in two to three weeks. I just don't have enough overhead to be able to order a ton of shirts. So when they sell out fast, I can get you a shirt, but they won't be coming back. This is your chance to get them. Even if it's sold out, it might just take a little longer. I appreciate you guys. Karmaspeed.com. We're building confidence in the garage, learning everything we can about each sports car from before buying it to after getting it, DIY modifying it in the garage ourselves. We normally don't do full rest restorations like this, but this is a dream car of mine and I'm excited to take it on and get after it. So like I said, thanks again. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next episode.